Welcome to the HFD Stocks and Options Commentary. I'm Pablo Navarro. Today is Friday, September 20, 2013. For the volatility index, the dollar weighted put call ratio on the VIX, we have a bearish reading for October, November, December, and January. The important ones, October and November, with 35 and 62 percent of the total premiums paid. Overall, we also have a bearish dollar weighted put call ratio on the VIX here. For the daily chart here, we have the daily chart here, 0.72% um, for the day. You can see here closing at 1709.99. Yesterday, we talked about being bearish short term. We talked about exhaustion here on the buy side. We were short, covered our shorts today here. Pretty nice trade for one day here. We talked about the next target we had for the SPX was going to be this previous high of 109.67, well, basically we are right now at that level. It's going to be interesting on Monday if we're going to be able to rally from here or what's going to happen here. If we're going to break down here, if we do break here, looking for the next target would be around the 50-day moving average, around 16.75 would be the next target. So it's going to be important what to look here on Monday. For the Qs. Here they have the chart, 0.35% down for the day on nice volume, which is interesting. Very nice chart here, longer term. But again, I'm neutral here so far for the market. I'm looking next week for some clues of what it's going to be. If we're going to rally or if we're going to start pulling back. For IWM, pretty much the same. We're pulling back today in big volume. That's interesting here. I want to see how the market holds next week, so I'm neutral overall here. For gold, big down day on gold. We talked about being bullish in gold, playing it against the 50-day moving average. If we did, got stopped out today. You can see it there. Well, given the big volume from yesterday and today, it's interesting now playing it on the short side. Flipping now completely and playing it to the short side, I would wait for a bounce here. Of the 50-day moving average around uh, 129.65 to get short and I'm looking for the 124 we were looking for that uh, this week previous to the Fed SLV pretty much the same huge downside on the SLV trading at down 5.4 percent for the day at the 50-day moving average again this could be a very interesting short here short SLV here instead of gold Trading silver to the downside, you can see the spiking volume we got here. I'm looking for next target being around 1945. So you could short it here, very tight stop, around 10 to 20 cents here. I'm looking for a over two dollar move here, 2.5 dollar move to the downside. So nice risk reward for SLV. Apple, Apple failing to go higher. Yesterday, this morning we were up, we went as high as 478, you can see here, then we broke down. Look at the huge volume, 24,000 shares traded today after the huge outside VAR reversal we have here and closing below the 50-day moving average, which is very important. I'm bearish on Apple, as you know, yesterday we also talked about that. I'm looking first to break this previous low of 447 and then going to 429, I continue to have that thesis on. Google, Google up 0.5% for the day, not much going on, huge volume though, you could see it here, trading at 9.03, I believe here, neutral, Netflix, Netflix trying to break out, up 2.73% for the day, we went as high as 15.88, you could see here, we went, broke the high, big volume, bullish here, if we continue to get a higher reading on, on Monday. So if you're long, put your stops around uh, 13.10, 13.9. That would be an interesting stop. Then play it there to the upside. We have the volume. We want to see if we got the continuation on Monday. So that's what I'm looking here. And last one, let's look at BlackBerry. Uh, saying it was going to cut 4,000 500 jobs today, almost 40% of the workforce. You could see here the huge volume spike. We went as low as um, 801. Interesting, closing at 872. Reading a fact here today that 
the company has around five dollars per share in cash remember this company does not have a long-term debt that's interesting here i'm not a buyer or a seller just interesting to watch here what's going to happen with this company